successful of Scott Joplin's rags, that was Make Belief there, and that was our very own Humph doing the thing. Book today is called Behind the Mask by Dr. Patrick Tracy. And this is an interesting read because he's Irish and he has been round the world. And I know from hard experience on Late Late Show and radio programs down through the years, the absolute fascination which medical matters have for people. They want to know about doctors and they want to know the things that doctors have done and they want to know the treatments that doctors have brought about on, on, on people and so on. And this is the story of Dr. Patrick Tracy, who was born and raised in Garrison in Northern Ireland. Uh, and he's had a very, very colourful career, starting out with he, he actually won the British Amateur Young Scientist of the Year title and the Irish Aer Lingus Biochemist of the Year title. And, and he, he, his father w went to the trouble of, of cutting down the expensive billboard outside their garage and used it to build some soundproof boxes that Patrick Tracy needed for his research but couldn't afford to buy. But anyway, that's what he won. And he's been all, in all parts of the world. He did a stint smuggling cars from Germany to Turkey, which wasn't a very healthy sort of way to earn a living. But he's, been, he's lived in New Zealand and practiced in New Zealand and Australia. He was a flying doctor in, in Australia for some time. He was then a ship's doctor on one of the biggest cruise ships going around in all of these wonderful places. And, and he talks about the, the stresses and strains of being a ship's doctor because no matter what is presented to you, you have a, a little hospital on board the ship, and, but you're on your own from there on. You're, and so whatever is presented to you, you have to learn to deal with. He was in Saddam Hussein's Baghdad, and, and was held prisoner for several days by people there, which is not a very healthy way to live. And then he eventually retired to Dublin, Ireland, and opened the Aylesbury Clinic, dealing with Botox and plastic surgery and all of that sort of thing. Now, one of the selling points behind this book, which is called Behind the Mask, and it's on the front cover, and he says the extraordinary story of the Irishman who became Michael Jackson's doctor. And indeed, he did become Michael Jackson's doctor when Michael Jackson was here for, I think he was here for a couple of months, and he stayed somewhere around the Mullingar area and used a, a recording studio in that place too, for experiments and so on. <clears throat> and during that time, he became aware of Dr. Patrick Tracy and his skin treatments and so on. And as you know, Michael Jackson had trouble in that area. And so he became a patient of, of Dr. Tracy. And, and not only that, but they became close friends because Michael Jackson was a lonely sort of person. So indeed it is true to say that it is the extraordinary story of the Irishman who became Michael Jackson's doctor, but, but it, it almost gives you the impression that he was Michael Jackson's, as it were, permanent American doctor, which of course is not so because that doctor, wasn't he done for there's a big question mark about how he treated Michael Jackson and the final thing. Anyway, this this Patrick Tracy has had a very colourful and and um, uh, career in all parts of the world. He's done so many different things. And if you are interested in that sort of subject and interested in the story of this doctor, starting from very, very poor beginnings, well, quite poor beginnings in a small place like Garrison, and, and how he has ended up working in Ireland and so on, having been right around the world acting as a doctor. So it's called Behind the Mask, and it's by Dr. Patrick Tracy, and he got a little ghostwriting help from Francis Kenny, who gets a, a thing. But you'll recognize it because there on the cover, it says the extraordinary story of the Irishman who became Michael Jackson's doctor. Right, that's enough of books for today. 